Hey, and welcome to Brainscape series of how-to videos in which we give you the tools and tips to become a master of this, the world's smartest study app. I'm Thea, creative media manager of Brainscape. And I'm Courtney, head of marketing at Brainscape. So in this video, we're going to show you how to start studying with Brainscape. But before we do that, make sure you've downloaded the app and created an account. So if you're ready, let's go. All right. So Courtney, what do we mean when we say studying as opposed to just browsing in Brainscape? Studying in Brainscape means you're actually working through the flashcards. You're looking at a question, you're recalling the answer from your memory, and then you're flipping that card over to reveal the answer. Where do I go when I want to start studying my flashcards? When you want to get started with studying with Brainscape, all you're going to do is log into the website and navigating to your dashboard. All right, so we've logged into our dashboard and on the left, we see the classes that the student has added and that they want to study. So let's say we want to study Spanish level zero. What do I do if I just want to study the deck on greetings and salutations? Hit this blue play button and it'll take you right into a study session. If you wanted to study all the decks at once, you could click this circle over here and it would select every deck in the class. You would then just hit this big study button up here. Alternatively, you could also just pick and choose which topics and decks you want to study specifically and then again, just hit the big study button at the top to get started. Right. And then Brainscape will show you a random mix of all the flashcards from those different decks. Correct. So what do I do if I want to study on my phone? We do have our apps. They're available for both iOS or Android. And all you would do is you would log in and then you would see the same class dashboard that you saw on the website. You would scroll to whichever class. So let's say we still want to study Spanish. You'd click into the Spanish class. You have the same options here. You can study one deck or you can study them all. I just noticed that there is a progressive and random button. What do those do? So this allows you to either progressively move through the decks. So one deck will get through all the cards before you'll start seeing them from the next deck. And then the random one, it's just going to pull randomly from any of the decks that you've chosen. And on mobile specifically, we have a new cool feature where you can actually study across classes now instead of just within a class. So all you would need to do is click on the configs menu and then you can choose how often you want those cards to show up. We call them study frequencies at Brainscape. Once you click the configs menu, you'll just want to adjust your study frequencies, which is how often you want to see the cards. Say you don't really want to study astronomy today and you don't really want to study medical terminology. You just want Spanish, but you kind of want a refresher of Spanish level zero. You want a little bit more Spanish level one, but you really want to focus on Spanish level two. You just adjust your sliders and then come back up to the top and hit the study button. Set this way, you will receive mostly Spanish level two flashcards, but with the occasional level zero, level one thrown in there just as refreshes. Okay, so at this point, we've hit the study button and we've been transported into a deck or several decks of flashcards. Now, what does the actual study process look like? Yeah, so once you've chosen, if you're in the mobile app, you've chosen the classes that you want included in your study mix. You just hit the study button and your classes will appear. You get presented with a flashcard. You look at it, you think about it, and then you tap once you've got the answer, reveal answer. You know the answer, Thea? Um, El Nino. And this is where Brainscape gets a little bit different than other flashcard apps out there. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we have a confidence-based repetition system. So you rate how well you know a card. Five, you know it perfectly. You don't really ever want to see this again. One, you definitely want to see this soon. And numbers two to four are shades in between. And we want to remind people that you should be pretty stingy with your fives. A lot of people feel tempted to rate their confidence highly if they get an answer right away. And what you need to think about is, will I remember this in a month's time? in two months time. In so listen up people, because overrating your confidence just to get that satisfying five out of five rating is only going to cheat one person and that's you. So basically only rate a card a five if you don't want to see it again, because you know it so well, you're not afraid of ever forgetting it. Rating isn't about grading your performance. You're telling the algorithm how well you know a concept so that you can determine the perfectly spaced interval at which to show it to you again. You get a customized study plan every single time. So that is quite simply how you start studying in Brainscape. But if you've got other questions like how to find, make, and share flashcards, we've got answers to those too. Just check out some of the other videos and articles on the community page or help center or leave us a question and we will be sure to address it promptly. One last thing, make sure you've got the latest version of the mobile app. Brainscape has recently introduced some game-changing updates and you do not want to miss out on those. We hope the tips we've shared with you in this video help you rise to your challenge. Happy studying, everyone.